Hello and welcome to Learn ASL with Miss Tess. Tomorrow's book for our ASL story time, which I'm going to be reading and signing, is called How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. I'm going to be signing or teaching a few signs from that book so that you can follow along. But first, I want to talk about what Jane Yolen and Mark Teague have created together. They have this dinosaur picture book series that's really fun, really, I don't want to say really educational, but it is somewhat educational. Each page has a different dinosaur on it, and on that page somewhere you'll have to find it is the scientific name for that dinosaur. So dinosaur lovers will really like it, but it's also um, lessons for kids. Like one of the books is called How Do Dinosaurs Get Well Soon? And it's about how dinos how kids should behave at a doctor's office when they're not feeling well. Or how do dinosaurs count to 10? How do dinosaurs clean their room? These are all titles in this series. So if you haven't read them or if you haven't read them all, I highly recommend that you go and to our catalog and put a few of them on hold. Um, you know we have started curbside service, so you can go and pick up books during the week. Anyway, highly recommend this dinosaur series. But now I'm going to start teaching the signs. Dinosaur is our first sign. Then I'm going to do how, um, no, 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 I love you, which is signed in two different ways. And we'll do always and forever. So those four signs. Dinosaur also has two signs, so I'll show you both. The way that I have seen it most of the time and the way that I sign it for the book, you hold your arm out like this, palm down. It doesn't matter which arm. Take your other hand, put your fingers flat with your thumb touching, and move your dinosaur across your arm like this. So this is your dinosaur, and it walks across your arm and that is the sign for dinosaur that I have seen most of the time. I have seen it one other way, but it's not usually done like this, but it is fun. So you take your T-Rex claws, and you put them at your chest, and you move them around. And that's the other sign that I've seen for dinosaur. But again, it's not used that often. This is the one that I use for the book. Next is I love you, which also has two signs. Well, the first part is three signs, actually. You point to yourself, I, and then love is your hands and fists, fists closed, pointed towards your chest, crossed over your heart, love, and then you simply point to whoever or whomever you are talking to, I love you. And then the other way to sign I love you is like this. Very simple, you just pull your two fingers down in the middle and point your hand to whoever or whomever you are talking to. But for the book, I say, I love you. Now, always, if you wanna say, I love you always. So you have just one finger, your palm is facing towards you, and you circle it because it's never ending, always. I will always love you, my dinosaur. Now lastly, we are going to learn forever. So you take, like the, like the I love you, the second part, you put it at this finger, at your temple, and then you zoom it out. And it, as you zoom it out, you bring this finger down, and it becomes a Y. It's a little complicated. So you start like this, and then you bring your finger down and you push your Y out forever, like it's never ending into the future. So it's a little difficult to see. Woo, like that. I love you forever. So I love you forever. I'll do it straight towards you. I love you forever. <laughs> so those are the two, the parents in the book say, I love you, I will always love you and I will love you forever. So you can sign those to your kids. It's very sweet, very fun. So I hope you, that you tune in tomorrow, Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time for our ASL English version of How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You?